Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do something different. We're going to be doing a Washington Commander rebuild. If you want to see any other team, put in the comments. But in today's episode, we're doing the Commanders since it's my favorite team. And then I'll probably do the Panthers next or something. But if you have a team in mind, put it down in the comments. And I'll do that team. But for today, we're doing the Commanders. If we look at the team real quick, we got Jacoby Brissett as the starter. Sam Howell is projected to be is projected to be the start of this season. So I'm gonna start him. We have Jake Fromm. Running backs, we got Robinson, Gibson. I actually might be trading away Gibson. I might trade away Gibson, try to get like a second or a third round pick for him. I might trade away Curtis Samuel. What's his contract? I might I might trade away Curtis Samuel. On the books for $10 million. So he might be traded. Gibson might be traded. We have Jahan Dotson. I'm going to have Jahan Dotson be the two. I want Yami Brown to be the three. And then I'll trade away Samuel. Probably pick up a wide receiver free agency. Got to upgrade the offensive line. The offensive line's not great at all. I think Andre Norwell is what, 30? We gotta pick up a tight end. Logan Thomas has been on the decline ever since 2020. That was his last good season. 2020 was his last, I mean, look at the stats. 2020, 72 catches, 670 yards, 6 touchdowns. He just dropped significantly since 2020. And he's on the books for a lot of money. So I'll probably trade away Logan Thomas too. We're gonna gut the team. I mean it's a rebuild. So you gotta gut the team to rebuild the team. And on defense, we got a good defensive line. We re-signed Payne recently in real life. So hopefully the contract's in the game. Okay, he's re-signed. Okay, we're good. And I think we also re-signed. Did we re-sign Montez Sweat in real life? I don't know if we did. But corners, we have end of four. And on the other side, we have Cameron Dantzler. I think Emmanuel Forbes is going to be a corner two moving forward. It's not bad stats. For someone who's 21. Sages are good. Linebackers suck. So we need an upgrade linebacker. Upgrade defensive line. Corners. Offensive line. And it, it's going to be a long rebuild. Let's go ahead and sim to the regular season. And I'll start doing some trades. I want to trade away Curtis Samuel because the coaching staff said Yami Brown was really good. It says he has too many competition ahead of him. So we you know, trade Samuel away, get at least a second or a third round pick for him. Yami Brown steps up to be the wide receiver three. Meeting your season goal comes with higher reward. I'm going to say seven wins this season. This is going to be all about Sam Howell. Trying to see if he can be the franchise QB for this team. Lots of upgrades. Chase Young is upgraded. I'm going to start trading away some pieces. I think the first one to go would be Curtis Samuel. I 
We can give him right back to Carolina. I'm going to trade him to Green Bay. Maybe they'll give me a second, and I want next year's fourth. Bingo. So we okay. we sent Curtis Samuel to Green Bay for 2023 second round pick, 2024 fourth round pick, and then a fourth string QB. So he's gone. I'm gonna go ahead and. But the QB that we picked up from Green Bay. Cut him. I'm going to cut Jake from. We don't need him. Who else should we trade? I'm looking at Logan Thomas. It was a good tight end in free agency. Well, who needs new contracts? These players are on the last year of their contract. I'm going to trade away Logan Thomas. I'm going to bring in... Why not bring in a guy like Demia Bird to replace Curtis Samuel? This is an extra receiver. John Ross is... Is here. I'm going to bring in Demir Bird. On a one year contract. See if there's any tight ends. This guy's just sitting in free agency. We'll bring this guy in. Steal from Dallas's practice squad. We're going to sim the mid-season mark. See what our record is. And then we might do one or two more trades. I want to try to find a team to trade away Logan Thomas to. Or even Antonio Gibson. So we have Brian Robinson, so we don't really need Gibson. And we are 2-5 and five at the mid-season mark. We lost 35-31 to 31 against Green Bay. We lost week one against Jacksonville. We beat the Lions 24-17. Lost three games straight, beat Chicago. And we lost a close game to the Green Bay. Plus one speed. So it's Scary Terry, 95 speed now. He's, he's going to be dangerous. Manco is plus one, plus two, press. That's not bad. Brian Robinson has a skill point. He's a franchise running back. So that's why I'm thinking about trading away Gibson. Don't need a QB, running back, maybe a backup. We can, we can replace Antonio Gibson with another Antonio Gibson. That'd be funny. How about this guy? Six foot one, two twenty seven. Uh, he's okay. He's not great. Not crazy about him either. This guy's not bad. 
I don't want to draft, you know, round one running back. So if he falls in the second round, maybe we pick him up. How does Antonio Gibson look? That's not bad. We can replace Antonio Gibson with an Antonio Gibson. We definitely need tight end help. This was a good tight end class too. This guy's six foot three, two forty four, a run block, b deep route, b catching traffic. This might be a guy to look after because we need tight end help desperately. We desperately need tight end help. This guy's good too. This is a really good time to to need tight ends. I'm liking what I'm seeing. This guy's six foot four. I think we could also use some offensive line help. Or even wide receiver. Like one wide receiver, maybe maybe two. We're trying to give Sam Howell weapons to succeed. And a guy like Pi Sheard could be someone to look at. Top five though, I don't want to trade up in the first round. This guy's decent. Isaiah Spillman, he's decent. Connor Dixon, 6'1", 194. Great to elite acceleration, good to great agility. His release is an F. But he could be someone that we look at possibly in later rounds. B release, 6'5", 219. He's slim. At 6'5", only 219 pounds. It's not great. 5'10", 190. Almost like a Curtis Samuel clone. Eli Dunlap, 5'11", 211. 5'11", he's 211 pounds. Maybe. Dexter Riley, 6'5", 235. He's not great. We need to look at offensive line. I'm not really liking some of these guys. You know what? This guy's good. Six foot four, two fifteen. I think we might go offensive line in the first round and then defense in the second round. There's really no good draftable centers. So, good thing we can skip drafting centers. Because we don't really need one, and they're not good. Uh, who's this guy? Trent Whitlock. 6'5", 335. He's big. This guy is decent. Matthew Hartman, he's decent. A3 guy. You know, backup. Right tackles look good in this draft. Six foot seven. He doesn't look great, but six foot seven. Six foot eight. He doesn't look that bad. He's someone to look after. He's six foot eight. He's another six foot five dude. He looks good. It's a good right tackle class. Do we need a right tackle though? I know we need a left tackle, so I can always take a right tackle, make him a left tackle. I might have to do that.
we're not really in the market for a defense alignment. But if someone jumps out at me, I'm gonna I might draft him. Backups are always useful. A good backup defense alignment. This guy's built like a defensive tackle. 6'4, 290. If I was going to draft this guy, I would probably move him to DT. I'll keep him on my board. 6'1, 256. He's not bad. I'll continue looking at draft classes later. I want to see our stats real quick. How is Sam Howard doing? I why is Sam Howe not I put Sam Howe as a starter? Why is he not playing? I mean Jacoby Bissett wasn't playing well anyway. Jacoby has almost two thousand passing yards, nine touchdowns, six picks. See what Sam Howell can do in the back half. Rushing Brian Robinson, seven touchdowns already. That's great. Gibson's not doing much. He's not doing much. Who's the backup? Patterson? Do we trade away Gibson now? Scary Terry, 39 catches, over 500 yards, two touchdowns. Logan Thomas, 33 catches, 400 yards, two touchdowns. He's doing something. The Mere Bird's doing decent. We might have to keep him. Twenty-five catches, almost four hundred yards and three touchdowns. Maybe we hold on to the Mere Bird for more than one season. Han Dotson has almost thirty catches. The guy who we picked up off of uh, Dallas Cowboys. At this squad, the rookie tight end, nine catches. I think I want this guy to be a future franchise tight end. Possibly. Possibly. Offensive line. Not bad. Not bad offensive line. So far this season, Chase Young has six sacks. Montez Sweat has three and a half. Handful of picks. The rookie free safety has a pick. The rookie corner does not have a pick. Is he playing? Please say the rookie corner is playing. Okay, he's playing at least. I was going to trade Logan Thomas at this point. But since he's playing decent, I'm just going to hold on to him. For a little bit longer. We don't really need him, but I'll hold on to him a little bit longer. We're going to send him to the playoffs. I thought I was going to trade someone else. But I'll wait. We're not, we're not going to make the playoffs. I mean, we're 2 and 5. We beat Dallas week 18, 21 to 17. We finished 8 and 9 on the season. I thought we would finish way less than 8 wins. You know what? I'll take it. Jahan Dotson is a star dev. Did he go up star dev? I think he's always been star dev, but still. Plus two for awareness, juke move, and mid route. Plus one for catching and break tackle. Plus three short route. What's his throw power? 92 throw power. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not great. Throw power plus one. We're trying to see if he can be Washington Commanders franchise QB. I'm going to upgrade Scary Terry, and I think I'm going to have to upgrade Chase Young. Plus one speed. 
That's nice. 96 speed for Scary Terry. We got a ton of skill points. Menu of Forbes has a, has a skill point. Do I need to upgrade his man or his zone? Let's upgrade his man. Plus two man. I'll take it. So we finished eight and nine. In year number one, didn't make the playoffs. Didn't think we we're going to make the playoffs. I do want to see how Sam Howe did. Sam Howe did pretty good. He played pretty well. Almost 2,500 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, and only five interceptions. I like it. I'd like to see it. Ryan Robinson had over a thousand yards rushing and 18 rushing touchdowns. That's nice to see. Receiving, Scary Terry had almost 90 catches. Over 1,200 yards, six touchdowns. Jahan Dotson had almost a thousand yards, 80 catches, seven touchdowns. The Mia Bird was a shock to me. I thought he might get 30, 40 catches. He got 62 catches. Almost 840 and six touchdowns. I'm re-signing him. He's staying on this team. Logan Thomas actually played well. 74 catches, 825 touchdowns. And this rookie by then we stole from Dallas's practice squad did okay. Defense. Sacks, 13 for Chase Young, 13 for Montez Sweat, 6 for Payne, 3 for Cody, 2.5 for Jonathan Allen. Oh, DTs other than Juan Payne are not getting sacks. 10 to 4 with 5 interceptions. Benjamin St. Juice with 3, Cameron with 2. He played well, 43 tackles, 1 pick. How did Emmanuel Forbes play? Where's Emmanuel Forbes? He didn't really play much. Who's playing in the Super Bowl in this first season? It's the Chiefs against the Dallas Cowboys in Super Bowl 57. Let's get to the offseason. We have a decent amount of money. Dallas beat uh, the Kansas City Chiefs 35 to 24. So we need to get, I need to scout some defensive players. We need linebackers. We desperately need linebackers. I don't like that guy. It's not bad. I want someone who's Who's quick, but also good in coverage, like this guy. Great to elite acceleration in the third to fourth round. He he could be a steer. That's someone looking uh, to keep an eye on. Roosevelt Rice. That's a backup. That's not bad as a backup. Middle linebacker. We need someone opposite. Of Davis. Just as a backup. Dwayne. Cloud. No. This is not a great middle linebacker group. Not really loving these guys. He's not bad.
Keep an eye on him. Justin Elliott, 6'5", 245, no. Corners. Corners decent. George Greenfield, 5'11", 190. I'm not really liking the majority of these people. I mean, they're okay. They're not great. Maybe a day three corner? Something? Nothing. Let's see who we want to resign. I think I want to re-sign the Mia Bird, obviously. He played well. Cody Button's a star dev guy now. Yeah, I think the Mia Bird might be a good option to keep. He doesn't want a lot of money either. What does he want? He wants two years, about eight mil. He played well. Would he take a one year deer? A sign for one year. Okay, well, the Mia Bird's not staying. That's fine. It's like, I want the Army Brown to step up. I do want to keep this guy around. You know what? I'm okay with giving this guy a five year deer. Actually, not five years. Let's, let's go four or three. Like to play for a new team. Okay, well, doesn't really look like any players want to come back. Yeah, no one wants to come back. I'm not really interested in signing anybody else. We'll just go in free agency. See who we can bring in. We have almost a hundred million dollars in cap. I want to sign some free agents. Josh Allen? Hmm, no. So bring in a guy we need a we need a you know wide receiver four maybe. DJ Chuck, he's interested in coming with us. Maybe like a two year for DJ? Mike Gusecki is interested. That's a big time move. We could get Mike Gusecki. Let's do it. Let's bring in a big ticket guy, Mike Gusecki. Let's do five years. He's a good tight end. And if we can lock up Mike Gusecki, we can trade away Logan Thomas. Yeah, Mike Gusecki's a big ticket guy. We need Mike Gusecki. I'll even give him a little bit more money.
Man, some other teams want him. You know, we have so much money that I think it's okay that we a little bit overpay him. It's Green Bay, though. But he's interested in coming with us. Let's hope that he cheated us. I don't want Cam and Fleming. Donovan Smith. He could be a good mentor for any left tackle we draft. I'll give him that. I'll give him four mil. I want to get someone on defense. We need linebacker help. I'm... Devin Bush could be someone that we go after. Anthony Walker, maybe. Alex Anzalone, maybe. I'm not really liking my options. Bryce Callahan wants to come with us. Maybe we can lowball him and he can still come with us. I think I also want to try to bring in I want to I want to try to bring in we're trying to bring in Mike Gusecki. Mike Gusecki is a big ticket guy. If we can grab Mike Gusecki, then we win free agency. I want to grab a linebacker. Because we need linebacker help. Osan Exhibits could be someone we go after. So who are we targeting for this free agency stage one? Mike Isecki, DJ Chuck, Bryce Callahan. Osan Simmons and Donovan Smith. If we can bring in Mike Isecki and Osan Simmons or Donovan Smith, I think that'd be good. I mean, we're the only team offering on these three guys. On even on DJ Chuck, we're the only team. You know what? I'm gonna withdraw my offer from him. Can we pick up? I want Mike Gusecki. That's who I want. Give me Mike Gusecki and I'll be fine. Does Mike Gusecki accept the contract? Wow, he ran a four five six at his pro day, or at, at the NFL Combine, and he ran a four four nine at the pro day. Did we just find a new tight end? I think we just found a new tight end. That's our guy. We're targeting this guy. He ran a four five eight. These are some fast tight ends. Man, these guys are fast.
Okay, nothing special about this guy. Isaiah Spillman. Not bad. I mean, average. Again, average. How about some offensive line? This is what they did at the combine in the pro day. A 4.90 second 40 yard dash at the NFL combine. Second fastest among left tacklers. Pro day, he ran a 4.85. Bench press 35 reps at the combine, 34 at his pro day. How big is he? 6'4, 308 pounds running faster than some other offensive linemen and defense alignment. Six foot eight. Six foot eight though, you still ran a five point ten and a five point sixteen. Forty reps on the bench press. Forty. Wow. A four, five, seven, forty yard dash. Who ran the fastest combine? A four, three, one second forty yard dash, and a four, two, nine second on his pro day. Wow. We don't really need a running back, but I like what I'm seeing off off of these prospects. Ryan Jones is going to the Seattle Seahawks. We got Mike Gusecki. Let's go. That's the guy I wanted, and we got him. And we got Osan Ximens. Nice. Nice. So Brian Jones is going to Seattle. Michael Thomas is going to Philadelphia. Shaquille Griffin's going back to Jacksonville. Nicole Hardman's going back to Kansas City. Chase Roulier is going to Seattle. Devin Burst is going to the Lions. Deion Jones is going to Buffalo. Marcus Davenport's going to the Chiefs. I mean, hey, we got Mike Gusecki. That's the guy I wanted, and we got him. And we got a pass rusher in Osan Ximens. So. We're still looking at Bryce Callahan and DJ Chuck. Is there any options at corner that we can do that's better than DJ Chuck? Because we might, you know what? Do I reunite the brothers? I mean, if he wants to come in for cheap. I'm not really happy with the corners in free agency. Trey Flowers might actually be good. Or Jordan Lewis. I want to bring some offensive line in, but I don't really see anybody that I'm like, yeah, we need to bring that guy in. There's really no one. Like, I'm not really gung ho to bring any of these guys in. I mean, my, maybe Donovan Smith, like I said, on a one year contract. But it's not like we need him. I mean, I got Mike Gusecki, so I'm happy with that. I 
I can trade away Logan Thomas now. Fifth year options, who do we got? I think it's Chase Young. Yeah, it's Chase Young. But they decline his option in real life. So I'll go ahead and decline it. Do we bring in any other? I got Mike Gusecki. I got Bryce Callahan, Poisson Exhibits, and Donovan Smith. That's decent. DJ Chuck hasn't, and the LA Rams want him. I'm going to withdraw my offer from Kyle. I don't really need him. DJ, though. We're matching even with them, with the with the Rams. Okay, that's too much. Yeah, I'm good with that. And I don't know who else to go after. I might draft a running back, so I don't know if I want to pick up a running back in free agency. Yeah, I think I'm good with who I got. Yeah, I'm good with who I got. I got Mike Gusecki. He was a big ticket agent. Who do I want to bring in for a private workout? I'm going to say this guy. I like Isaiah Spielman. We need offensive line help. So. We are going to go with. Yeah, him, Spillman, and this guy. I want that tight end. Even though we picked up Mike Gusecki, I want to draft that tight end. So we have Sam Howell, Brian Robinson, Scary Terry as the one, Han Dotson as the two. We brought in DJ Chuck as the three. I think that's a good wide receiver with three. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We got Mike Gusecki. We might have slightly overpaid for him. But I think I think he should do well with us. It's not crazy money though. We got Donovan Smith. We didn't really upgrade any other position on the offensive line. And on defense we picked up Osan Ximmons. And we got Bryce Callahan. Oh, he dropped. He was a superstar X Factor, and I was a superstar. Let's do the NFL draft. Are now on the clock. We have pick 16. I could see us drafting a wide receiver later in the draft. We don't really need a tight end, but I am trading away Logan Thomas at some point. And we brought in Mike Isecki. So, if I have to, I will trade up and draft that tight end. Oh, he's like way far down the draft board. 
I should be good. He's 41. I could maybe draft him in the second round. Okay. So we're just going to skip to my pick. The Washington Commanders are now on the clock. Okay, so we need offensive line help. It's a good looking left tackle, though. And we need to protect Sam Howell. I might have to go with Montgomery on this pick. This is the guy who's going to protect Sam Howell. Hidden Dev, 82 acceleration, 73, ability, 73 agility, 80 jumping for a guy who weighs over 300 pounds, 89 strength. He's a beast. I want that tight end or even this wide receiver. When's my next pick? Cross our fingers that tight end is still on the board when we pick. Because this is the spot that I want that tight end at. Please say he's not gone. Ah, oh, he's gone. Dang it. This guy's still on the board, and he's good. What's our next pick? We don't have a next pick until round four. You know what? We're, we're picking the tight end. Actually, we don't need a tight end since we got Mike Gusecki. So I'll just hold on to Logan Thomas for. So to either trade this pick away, or we could draft one of these linebackers. We need linebacker help. Yeah, you know what? We're going linebacker. We're going Jaden Buckley out of Texas Tech. No more dev. 89 speed, though, for a linebacker. Yeah, that tight end looked really good, though. I think we should be fine. We have a 4, a 5, a 6, and a 7. See who's left? I pick, you know, around 4. There's only two people left on my draft board. Roosevelt Rice. He looks like a good linebacker. But I just drafted a linebacker. Maybe we trade this pick away. This free safety looks good. We don't need a center. This guy looks decent. You know, I'm going to trade this pick away for next year's picks. I don't think we really need any of those positions. I'll take Sam Friends. Is that safety still available? Then I might draft the safety. But no one's on my favorites anymore. Was this the safety I was looking at? No, he was not. Okay, so the safety's probably gone. Which is fine, because we don't really need safeties. I haven't really scouted anything past this round, though. He was supposed to be projected in the first two rounds, and he's still on the board. 
you know what? I'm I'm pulling a trigger on this guy. He might not be great, but he looks good. 99 speed. 98 acceleration. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And he has 92 jumping. Well. He just fell to us in the fourth round. A guy with 99 speed. Uh, let's see. We do need corner help. I don't really like any these corners. That guy skipped the combine. This guy's not bad. Roman Johnson might be someone we keep an eye on. You know, I think I like that linebacker too much to pass on him. I'm going to draft him. He just looks too good. Take a fly on this guy. 90 acceleration, 84 speed. That's decent. We got, we have speed. This guy is still available. You know, I'm going to trade this pick away. If he's still available with our next pick, I'll draft him on our next pick. But this pick, I'm going to trade away. We have a trade alert. This pick has been traded. So round seven, if that DT is still available, I'm drafting him. He's still available. I mean, why not? It's a flyer. He doesn't look that bad. I mean, he put up 30 reps on the bench press. I mean, he doesn't look great. But it's a backup. Draft recap for Season 1. For our first round pick, we got Cortez Montgomery. 72 overall. With a hidden dev trait. Put him in your... Yeah. I think we got a left tackle of the future to protect Sam Howell. Second pick. We got Buckley. 72 normal dev. 89 speed. This wide receiver in the fourth round though. He's a 66 overall. So that's not great. But I mean... 99 speed, 98 acceleration. He just felt he was supposed to be a, a what, first, second round pick, and he got it in the fourth round. And this DT, not great. Where did that tight end go? Ty Sheard is a 79, 80 overall. We don't really need wide receivers, so it's fine. Isaiah Spillman, I man, the Dolphins got some good players. 89 speed, 94 acceleration. Good job, Dolphins. Where's the tight end? This is the guy. He got drafted by the Chicago Bears. He's a hidden dev trait too. He might be a star, maybe a superstar player. I mean, we didn't drop that bad. Our first two picks were winners, and then our round four guy, 99 speed. I would take it. So we're going into season number two.
we gave Sam Howell some weapons. We gave him Mike Gusecki in free agency. We gave him a wide receiver with 99 speed. I think we also gave him DJ Chark. So he has weapons. So week one. What do we look like on week one? Sam Howe. Jahan Dotson, wide receiver two. Got in, you know, got DJ Chark. I want to stop Montgomery. He's going to be the starter. You know what I could do? I'm going to have Charles Leno start at left tackle. And have Montgomery start at right guard. We got Mike Isaki, Logan Thomas. We got some tight ends. I didn't bring in Alex Anzalone. So season number two. But since the mid-season marks. I think last season we started the season two and five. We gave Sam Howell some weapons. Mike Isaki, he still has Logan Thomas. He still has Scary Terry. He still has Han Dotson. Deami Brown. We brought in DJ Chark. We are two and five. Wow. That's a lot of upgrades from Mike Isaki. Is Sam Howe not playing well? Plus three zone coverage, okay. Oh, Montgomery. He's a star dev. I want to look at the stats so far this season. Sam Howell, 14 touchdowns to 8 interceptions. Brian Robinson's doing okay. Receiving, Jahan Dotson has 38 catches. Scary Terry is at 22 catches. I mean, Mike Kosecki's playing well. EJ Chuck has a decent amount of touchdowns. I'm surprised Scary Terry hasn't gotten much catches though. Logan Thomas hasn't really done much. I think I might go ahead and trade Logan Thomas now. Seven and a half sacks for Jonathan Allen, six for Chase Young. No one else is really getting sacks. No interceptions. I think it's time to trade away. I think Logan Thomas' time here is done. I want a third round pick. You just do a third round pick straight. Bingo. Logan Thomas for a third round pick. Who needs contracts? Tinder Four is 28. Chase Young definitely needs to get re signed. Montez Sweat. What does he want? 60 million? And we got Chase Young to stay. Montez Sweat. Can you take a two year contract?
think I might let Kinderfur go. Oh, Cameron, though. Antonio Gibson, I think I'm going to let go. Bryce Callahan, I'm going to let go. I'll just walk away from that. This is sent to the playoffs. We got Chase Young back. Which was much needed. I want Montez Sweat back as well. But between Montez Sweat and Cameron, I think I want Montez Sweat back. Because having two edge rushes, rushing the QB, is key. I can draft a strong safety, just as good as Cameron. And we went 6-11. and 11. That was a downgrade from what we had last season. What is Sam Howard not the guy? Is the defense not backing up the offense? Like, what's going on? He's heading on to year number three. So he better pick it up. We did beat Dallas week 18, though. We went 6 and 11. What were our stats this season? Whoa. Sam Howell, 4,500 yards almost, 27 touchdowns with 20 interceptions, and he was sacked 52 times. That's not good. Brian Robinson, over 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. Gibson had almost 100 carries, 400 yards, 9 touchdowns. Receiving, Jahan Dotson, almost 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Scary Terry, almost 70 catches, 1,000 yards, only 3 touchdowns, though. Mike Gusecki balled out. Five touchdowns, almost 80 catches. DJ Chuck played well. Gibson did decent. Deami Brown's not doing what I was hoping for him to do. Defense. We had three guys with 100 tackles in this season. Alex and Zaloni played well. 12 sacks with Chase Young, 11 for Jonathan Allen, three and a half Montez Sweat. Maybe I let Montez Sweat go. Maybe, maybe I'll let Montez Sweat go. Three and a with Bryce Callahan, two for Alexander Zaloni. That's not bad. Still went six and eleven. Which is not good. Cincinnati Bengals against the Arizona Cardinals. So who do we need to re sign this offseason? We already got Chase Young done. Montez Sweat doesn't look like he wants to come back. Bryce Callahan wants to come back, but he's 32. I'm not going to resign him. I think I will bring back Alex Anzalone, though. He played well. So we got Alex Anzalone back. Kinder Fool wants to play on this one year deal. How much is the franchise tag? Yeah, no. I want Cameron to come back, but he doesn't want to come back. He's testing free agents. You know what? Let's get on the franchise tag. Let's 
stage one in free agency of year number two. Jalen Hurts is here. Trayvon Diggs. Oh, we have a left tackle though. I can make him a right tackle. I can get rid of Charles Leno. So what's the best way to do that? Give him protection. And weapons. We gave him weapons. So this is this is it. We give him protection now. We're going straight off into line. And maybe a defensive player. We need to replace corner. Jonathan Jones is available. Targeting Tristan Wirfs, Judge Wales, Judge Wales, Jonathan Jones, and Anthony Walker. Trying to beef up that offensive line and then add on to the defense that we already have. Do we get some one of those offensive linemen? Looks like we won someone. Did you get Jezek Wales? Lewis? We got Tristan Wolfs. Go! That's a big addition. We got Tristan Wolfs. We got most of everybody that I wanted. We're carrying free agency. You know what? We're good. We don't need anybody else. I'm good with, I'm good with what we got. Whose fifth year option is it? Jermaine Davis. Yeah, why not? Do you pick up anybody else? Justin Hubbard is going to is going to the Carolina Panthers. Ryan Burns is going to Tennessee. Wow. I'm good with my signings. So we each got that offensive line. I think now I'm going to make Montgomery a left guard. We're right good. I'll make him a right guard. Okay, so we got... We need to upgrade at center. We got a right tackle. We got a left tackle. We got a tight end. Backup tight ends might still need to be upgraded. This is that 99 speed guy, isn't it? Yeah, I like how, I like how this team's... Coming together. I mean, probably still need to beef up the linebacking group and definitely need to get a new right outside linebacker, or, you know, a rush end and maybe some corners. But yeah, I think we're doing decent.
So I think in the draft, we're going to focus on grabbing a center and then mainly defense. Private workouts. We need a center. As this is the best center in the, in the class, so let's go with him. We need right end. He did not participate in the combine or the pro day. We need corners. You know what? Corner. Give me a good corner. Go with him, go with the center. So now we just need to go to the draft. And we need to drop the center. We have the ninth overall pick. You like color? We don't really need an outside linebacker. What kind of we do? But center is way more important for us right now. And the center that we like, I think our wide receivers are good. I don't think we need to draft any wide receivers. A 4 2 4 40 yard dash, though. Don't need them. Don't need them. Nope. Mm -mm. Don't need them. Go for need. Go for need. Next up, the commander. Is that center still available? Please say he is. He is. I know it's pretty early to draw the center, but we need center help. So we're drafting him. On the clock now. It was probably a reach, but that was the one position we needed to get. And he was the best center in this draft class. So even if we reached, I think it was a pick we needed to make. Now you look at our line. We got Dudrick Wales, Wales at left tackle. At left guard, because we don't have anybody at center. Nick Gates, that we can move to left guard, I guess. Right guard, we got the rookie we drafted last draft. And right tackle, we got Kristen Wolves. So we got people. I want to see draft picks. Okay, we got some draft picks. So is there another guy that I would like to draft? Jamal Mayweather? The game really wants us to draft the QB. I'm going to see what lands to us. I mean, Sam Howell isn't playing great, but this whole rebuild is to try to see if Sam Howell can become the starting Washington franchise QB that commanders want him to be. So if I just go ahead and draft the QB, it's going to you know ruin the whole... We need a strong safety. Or even a free safety. I'm going to pick Austin Jet. Yeah, he looks pretty good to me. 
Hidden Dev Trait, 87 Acceleration, 89 Agility, 83 Change of Direction, 85 Jumping, 90 Speed. We draft a running back. I mean, Antonio Gibson isn't doing great. We can draft a fast running back. I'm going to pick the fast guy. Ninety-three speed. There's someone else on the board that I want. That like I need to trade up to get him. Oh, that's a good middle linebacker. Bears on the clock now. It's either I trade with the Bears or I trade with Denver. I'm trading with the Bears. I don't know if that linebacker is going to be there. He looks good. So I'm trading up with Chicago, and I'm going back to back. We got the trade done. Which way? Next year's third, and this year's fourth for this pick. And we're drafting that middle linebacker. I just think he looks he looks good. I mean, he might be there with the other pick that we had. I mean, he did go to the combine. He did go to his pro day. He has... A man coverage, A zone coverage. I just think he he looks a putt. He went to Alabama. That's a good score to go to. Hidden depth trait. I was right. 91 speed, 89 acceleration. He just looks like a good hover linebacker. We need we need that. We got one. And we still kept our third round pick this year. I think we need a left guard. James Van Dyke. Pass box a B. Awareness is an A. He looks he looks good. You know what? This is looks like the best left guard in the class as of right now. Another hidden dev trait. We are giving Sam Howell protection. We got two tackles in free agency. And we just drafted a hidden dev left guard. He got sacked 52 times last season. And we have given him protection this offseason. I think I'm just going to trade this pick away. I'm not even going to look at the draft class. What's left. Washington Commanders are now on the clock. Okay, now... Did we drop the running back? Do you need a corner? I don't think this guy's it. He's not it. Mm -mm, he's not it. We got George Gregory. Not bad. The tennis I'll take it. Are now on the clock. The next selection, it's the Washington Commanders. We have so many offensive linemen. I don't think I need to draft an offensive lineman. 
I don't think I picked up a free safety yet. I might have. I'm not really seeing a lot out of them. I don't know what to pick at this point. You know what? This outside linebacker looks pretty good. It's, the Bills. it's not bad. Maybe we take a fly on a QB. Is there any scrambler types? I mean, we don't need a QB, but this guy doesn't look bad. On the clock now, That's not bad. I mean, yes, we drafted a, a projected undrafted QB. I need a defensive lineman. I wait to the last second of the draft one. And there's no good ones left. It's not worth it. I think I'm just going to stockpile the draft picks that I had remaining and just trade them away. I only have like what two, three picks left. Yeah, I have only two picks left. So two, six, and a seven. The current pick has got him. Traded. I got a projected possible depth offense. Oh, not offense. Defense alignment for some picks. Let's see what we got. First round pick, we got Peter Page. Page. He's 73 overall. We'll take that. A good uh, offensive line. And we got Austin Jett at three safety, 74 overall. With a hidden depth trait. So that's good. And we got Dalton, Rid Rid Dalton Ridley. That's a good backup. And we got Joe Mitchell, who I traded back up into the third round. Not really back into the third round, but I knew it, this guy was going to be good. He had a hidden dev trait. So what, what a steer. And then with my third round pick, I got best remaining offensive lineman on the board I got some okay guys that's a good draft we have a trade off of Sam Cosme We definitely overhauled the offensive line. This should be Sam Howell's best season. And we got some good defensive pieces.
Oh, I forgot we franchise tag Cameron. Why did I draft this guy then? Oh, well. And we upgraded the linebacker group. This should be a good season for us then. I'm hoping for a good season. What's the trade off? What do we got? They want Sam Cosme. Oh. We don't really need a middle linebacker now. You want us to trade you Sam Cosme so you can trade us back to so Samuel? No, thank you. You can keep him. I'm not really liking any of these trades. Yeah, no. I mean, backup. Do I trade them though? Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to them just for depth. Centro season. This would be a good season. We overhaul the whole offensive line in two seasons. We drafted some good defensive people. We gave Sam Howell some weapons in Mike Isecki. We got him some speed at receiver, some length at receiver. This should be a good season. Plus one diversity mid. You know what? I think this is a playoff team. The goal is to make the playoffs. Sim to midseason. I mean, last season, Sam Howell got sacked 50 something times. And we brought in so much offensive line people. We spent lots of money on offensive line. So this should be a good season. Honestly, I think if this season isn't good, then I don't think Sam Howard is a franchise QB. Well, four and three. You know what? That's a good thing. That's a positive sight. That's a positive thing to see. We were two and five the last two seasons. We beat the Ravens 41 to 35. James Van Dyke has two skill points. Let's do power. And pass protection. He's a start of. Okay. I'll take star dev. I mean, better than normal dev. Plus one speed for Brian Robinson. 89 speed. Okay, he's doing pretty good. Plus one thugs three deep play action and plus three awareness. And he took Montez Sweat's old number too. Is this guy doing good? Is he playing? I want to see the stats so far halfway through the season. 
So Sam Howe has over 2,000 passing yards, 16 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, only he's been sacked 19 times. That's a big improvement. Brian Robinson's doing okay. Receiving, Scary Terry, 42 catches, 534 touchdowns. EJ Chuck, 31 catches, 521, 6 touchdowns. Man, that was a great offseason addition. He's killing it on the team. Jahan Dotson, 32 catches, 422 touchdowns. Mike Gusecki's doing decent. Everyone else is not even really doing anything. Offense. We spent a lot of money on these two guys. Eight sacks with Chase Young. Not a lot for the rest. Dalton Jones with two picks. We're going to sim to the playoffs. See if we can make the playoffs. We're 4-3 and three at the midseason mark. Can we make the playoffs? With Sam Howell at QB. We went 9-8 and eight and we are in the playoffs. Took us a couple of years, but Sam Howell has brought us to the playoffs. I want to see a season stat. It was best season in his career. Almost 4,300 yards, 33 touchdowns, 19 picks. Still got sacked 51 times. Brian Robinson almost had 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Receiving, Scary Terry had almost 100 receptions, 1,300 yards, 9 touchdowns. Jahan Dotson, 71 catches, almost 1,005 touchdowns. EJ Chuck, 65 catches, 900 yards, 12 touchdowns. Mike Isecki, 71, 716, 4 touchdowns. Sixteen sacks for Chase Young, 8 for Jonathan Allen, 5.5 for Payne. We had a few guys with three picks. Up with two. But we made the playoffs. We are the sixth seed facing the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to play the moments. This might be the last season that I'm doing this. The NFL I might just do three seasons. This on Wild Card if you want to see you this franchise it's the commander's but I play every single game of this franchise. Put down in the comments. I still might do it. They're actually playing each and every single game. Oh, I like what I'm seeing. Intercepted by Patrick Queen. No 
score as of yet. Defenses have ruled here into the second quarter. But here's another third down situation to check in on. Nice go and catch. At least we recovered it. Touchdown. Sam Hell. The scary Terry. We did it. EJ Chuck had one heck of a game. Scary Terry had a, a good game. John Bates had a touchdown. And we are on to the division round of the playoffs. Facing Dallas. Do we beat Dallas at Dallas? Seven three. Dallas is winning 17 to 3. We need to score some points. Three three points aren't gonna do anything. And we lose at Dallas. We just got outclassed by Dallas. And we won in the wild card round. Lost to Dallas in the division around, and it's Dallas and the Las Vegas Raiders in Super Bowl 59. This is a lot of people to resign. Dave's gonna do three seasons. So look at Sam Howe's career in these three years. His first year, 17 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, sacked 20 times. His sophomore season, he threw for almost 4,500 yards, 27 touchdowns, 20 picks, sacked 52 times. This last season, 33 touchdowns, 19 picks. Rushing yards, did pretty good. Receiving did good. Bringing in DJ Chuck was a good decision. He played well. 45 catches, 625, 5 touchdowns his first year in Washington. His second season, 65 catches, 912 touchdowns. Honestly, I think that's the best we're going to be. I mean, we might be able to get to the division around the conference. But it took us three seasons just to get to the wild card round of the playoffs. And we got into the division around, and we just got destroyed by Dallas. So do I think Sam Howell can be a franchise QB for Washington? 
yes and no. I mean, he led us to wins. He led us into the playoffs. He won one playoff game. And then his second playoff game got destroyed by Dallas. Gave him a pretty good offense. I mean, we stacked up the offense. We brought in a right tackle. We drafted this guy. We drafted some good offensive linemen. We brought in two good offensive proven vets at tackle. We brought in Mike Gusecki in free agency. We got some other good receivers for Sam Howell. And then on defense, we kind of kept the nucleus together. We upgraded the linebacker group. Brought in some key people on, you know, like corner, safety. But if you want to see me play every single game of this franchise, I think it'll be fun. I mean, this, this is a, a nice team. I think we can do another two, three seasons. I'm going to end the rebuild here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe.